Today I want to show you how to create a basic eye shader for the Unreal Engine 4. So first of all you need those four textures here. Two normal maps, a special normal map for your rock or for your mesh, to make it for a rock, and then of course a snow texture sample. Now do a right click onto the snow texture sample and go to create new material. Then do a double click onto it and now we can start. First of all connect the snow texture sample with the base color. Then up here type in chord and add a texture coordinate. Now connect the texture coordinate with the UVs and I will scale it down a little bit. So type in a value between 20 and 30. I will just type in 24 to 24. Now we have to add some constant vectors. So type in corn and add a constant vector with a value from 1. Then add another constant vector with a value from 0.1. So just add one and type in 0.1. Now connect the first one with the value from 1 with the specular and the second one with roughness and opacity. Now we, have to, now we come to the normal map part. There we have to add add first. So press A and left mouse button. Then add a multiply, M left mouse button. Then add another add, so left A and left mouse button. And then add another multiply, so M and left mouse button. Now connect the second multiply with the second add, so with the B from the second add, and the second add with the A from the first add. Then connect the multiply, so the first multiply, with the B from the first add. Now up here, at the A link from the second add, we have to add our texture that is specialized on our static mesh. So in my case, this one here, the rock normal map. So just drag and drop it to your material editor. And then connect it with the A from the add. Now down here, the multiply, we have to add a vector 3, con uh, vector three. so type in con, and then add, add a constant 3 vector, and connect with B. And at R, you have to type in 0.5, at G 0.5, and at B 0. Now at the A from the multiply, we have to add our normal map. So close this, and add the first normal map. And connect it with the A from the multiply. Now type in chord, and add a texture coordinate, because we will scale it down a little bit. And in the texture coordinate, type in a value from round, let's say, 11. Okay, now down here at the second multiply, we have to add our second normal map. So choose the second normal map, and just connect it with the A from the second multiply. Now add another texture chord, so type in chord, texture coordinate, connect it with the UV from the normal map, and type in 11 and 11. Oops, sorry. Now at B, we have to add the vector 3. So just connect this one here with the B. Okay, that was the normal map part. So just connect the add with the normal. Now we have to add some subsurface effect. Therefore, you just have to add an add and a multiply. Okay, now just connect the multiply with the B from the add. And at A, we have to add a Fresnel effect. So type in Fresnel and add a utility Fresnel node. Now connect this one with the A from the add. And on the Fresnel, on the exponent, type in 3.5 and a base reflection 0.04. Now at the B from the multiply, we have to add a constant vector with a value from around 6. So just add a constant vector, type in 6 and connect it with B. Now at the A from the multiply, we have to add a multiply, so press M left mouse button and connect it with the multiply. Now we have to add a constant 4 vector, which will connect with the A from our second multiply. And at B, we will add a constant vector with a value from 0.3. Just type in 0.3 and connect it with B. Now in the constant 4 vector, we can choose the color of our subsurface effect. So I will just type in a value, but you can choose any value you like. So we'll, you can also just click onto this here and then choose blue or something like that. But I will just type in some values now. So at R we will leave it at 0, at G we will type in 0.108917, at B 0.283186, and at A a value from around 1. Ok, that's it. Now just connect the add with a subsurface color. And now we have finished a basic ice shader. Now down here at the property window, 
under lightning mode, you just have to choose subsurface. And under use mode or the usage, you have to check the used with static lightning. And that's it. Now we have finished our shader and we'll, we'll try it out now. So just click on to apply and drag and drop it onto your mesh. And you can already see here, it looks pretty well. And when we go here, so back to the sun, you can see it shines a little bit through the mesh. And that's our subsurface color. So that's the color which we have changed with the constant for vector here. So for example, we can also type in a reddish one, so like this one here. Then it will look like this. I'll just wait a little bit. Then it will look like this here. So here you can just play around a little bit, but I would just recommend you use my values at the subsurface color because that looked best. But as you can see here, there's some basic reflection in here, as you can see. A subsurface color which will appear when we look to the light, as you can see up here. And of course some noise in it and the normal map. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and until next time.